Welcome back to Rick's Scale Model Fix and today we're going to be looking at Models Vit P51H in 148 scale. This has just been sent over for review. It features some really nice uh, box art of a Mustang in flight and the box top proclaims that there's a decal sheet included with some adhesive masks and a photo etch set. The parts count for the model is 203 it's 212 millimetres long and 235 millimetres wingspan when completed. Catalogue number for this one is 4817. Just looking around the box, there's some interesting uh, American Air National Guard examples on offer of the decal options, along with a sole camouflaged RAF machine. So without further ado, let's get to the cutting mat and get the box top off and let's have a look at the contents inside. So we're back with myself, Rick, at uh, the cutting mat, and we're having a look at the Models Vit P51H instruction booklet. As you can see, the uh, beautiful box top artwork is replicated on the front cover. Just a little bit further down, we've got some history of the type and some colour call-outs that are for Mr. Colour. And the basic names are included, such as gunmetal, rubber black, etc. Turning the page, the first thing we've got is the parts map, which shows the masks, the etch fret and the decal sheet, and along with the mask placement guide. Construction starts on page 3, with the assembly of the seat and the cockpit, which on paper looks to be really well appointed and well done choice of decals are etched for the instrument panel and that builds up into a tub complete with sidewall detail that's ready for insertion into the fuselage before that details for the wheelbase at the the tail end of the aircraft fuselage coming together with that now completed cockpit tub and a little bit of work on the front end with uh, the necessary intake chin um, air intakes and the under, under wing upper section of the intake. Flaps can be provided up or down and the elevators um, are moulded as two parts. Page five sees the construction of the main gear bay and the undercarriage. Note the smaller main wheels and the different shape cut out in the wing for the undercarriage doors with the P51H. Tail wheel assembly is quite well detailed, not that you're going to probably see much in there on the completed model. Aerolons and flaps going in, along with the elevators and uh, tailplanes. Section 26 sees the flaps going on in either the up retracted position or the down deployed position. Main gear going on along with the propeller which is broken up into two and a nice little diagram showing where everything fits in relation to, uh, to the aircraft. Section 29, canopy open or closed, a single one part moulding which will come in handy for masking during the painting process. Drop tanks or rockets uh, being added on page 7 to see the build conclude. Stencil data is provided with a separate uh, location diagram there on page 8. And then we're on to some of the interesting uh, colour examples. So this one's from... Uh, the Texas Air National Guard and dated 1953. All three US uh, options are Air Guard, so this one's Massachusetts Air Guard in 1951, and fetching yellow and blue. That was really quite nice. Might have an attempt at that one. Another shark mouth, uh, always love a shark mouth on a Mustang, so New Hampshire Air Guard, again 1953. And if you're not wanting to do a natural metal aircraft then you've always got an RAF camouflaged example simply dated 1945. So all in all looking at the instruction book it looks like a straightforward build. So we'll look at the decals. Uh, two sheets are included. Uh, the blue one's got the national insignia and uh, some of the stencil data cockpit placards. That shark mouth look to be well printed. Um, uh, a little bit sort of a satin finish. And then there's another sheet which uh, gives you all the numbers for the individual aircraft. There's the etch fret, 
and she's got things like the grills, some seat belts, instrument panel, die cut vinyl masks, which are already showing signs of shrinkage, and the clear parts with that, with that single one piece uh, canopy, should you want it closed, or the separate two piece canopy if you want to pro, uh, pose that open on your finished model. They look quite clear, they look good. There's seven sprues included in the kit. And uh, looking at some of the smaller ones first, these are the main gear wheels, which are really quite nice, well molded, great caliper detail. Uh, bulkheads for the uh, undercarriage bay. Some of the smaller undercarriage retraction, uh, retraction jacks and etc. are showing quite a bit of flash and they're going to be quite difficult to clean up due to the fragile nature. Okay, this sprue is labelled R, E and L and features the flaps and the undercarriage doors. Um, nice rivet detail there on the surface of the flaps. I don't know if you can see it on the camera if I just catch the light. Smaller sprue O contains the propeller which is uh, broken down into two halves, the spinner and back plate and some of the intake parts along with the exhaust stacks which are hollowed out at the end but not fully. Sprue G concentrates on mainly the cockpit uh, which is really well rendered as you can see from the detail that's it's quite, uh, quite good. Should look good under paint and built up. The sprue H gives you two drop tanks and some rockets. Main sprue, sprue A, uh, gives you the fuselage halves. Uh, it's quite a strange plastic. But the surface detail is really well rendered. It's got a lot of fine rivets and panel lines. That should look good on a metal finish with a wash. Sprue B gives us the wings, uh, undersurface and the elevators. Again, lovely moulding. Notice the different shape undercarriage doors there. And finally... Bruce C is the tops of the wings, no rivets, apart from uh, some small ones on the gun bays. Ailerons riveted and the elevators. So there we go, that's the model's VIT uh, 148 scale P51H. All in all, the build looks to be quite promising. So thanks for following and watching Rick's Scale Model Fix. Until next time, take care.